Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. I uh, wanted to put together a quick little screencast to go along with uh, the blog post I've written called How to Install uh, Moment in Angular Projects. So uh, this post gets a fair bit of traffic, I'd say, for something so short and something so specific. And so uh, I figured some of you might want a different way to go about doing this rather than reading. I uh, thought I'd just put this together really quickly. I also got some feedback uh, in the comments saying that it would be nice to uh, be shown how to use Moment rather than just install. And so that is the goal of this uh, little tutorial. So what I've done is uh, put together a quick Angular app using Angular CLI. Uh, you can find that here in the documentation. Uh, npm install global at angular CLI and that gives you uh, the CLI uh, I believe I have version 7 I think this is for uh, the new version as well I'm gonna make sure that is the case um, version 7 go here okay so uh, it's in the actual angular docs the new CLI reference so uh, I think a lot is still the same but essentially what you do is after you have it installed uh, ng new and then project name and then you can cd into the project so uh, I created one called moment example and I've uh, gone ahead and cd'd in so uh, the second thing I did you can see I have the app running I'm going to go ahead and kill that actually uh, so uh, I have the app here and the second thing I did uh, after cd'ing into the project is generate a component so the G is an abbreviation for generate, the C is an abbreviation for component, and then component name. And this is all in the documentation here. Uh, I actually have claimed a ticket to work on some of this stuff, so uh, hope to have some of the abbreviations in there very soon. But uh, point being, if you go down here to ng generate, you can see most of that stuff. Uh, ngg and then schematic. And there's also abbreviations for the schematic th itself. So uh, that is a helpful thing to know if you go down to component here. Um, so NGGC works, NGG component, component name, and I just have one uh, here, current time, which you can see uh, ends up being its own directory. And we've got the template, and then we've got uh, the TS file itself. So uh, the first thing that you want to do is uh, go npm I, or you can do install dash dash save moment uh, and that's uh, the same thing I mentioned to do in the blog post now I've already done that uh, in here but you can still see kind of the process happening this is what it'll look like for you as well assuming you're on a similar IDE so updated one package it's the same thing uh, and so if you ever want to check you can go in your node modules here uh, that's where the import is going to come from and so if I go down here, I can see that I have moment somewhere. If I can find it, there it is. So I've got moment. Uh, now the only thing you need to do is wherever you want to use it, uh, import it straight into the TypeScript file. There's no need uh, necessarily to deal with the module files or anything like that. So I've got my, um, my TypeScript file for the current time component. I'm going to go ahead and fire the server backup that's ng serve and that will um, bootstrap the app and spin it up for you at localhost 4200 you can see that here and if you're on a Mac you can do option click and it'll open it for you in your browser so I'll wait for that to go ahead and be the case uh, perfect so uh, we can see got all these errors because the app died and now it's restarted uh, so this is the app component you can see I'm I'm using the current time component in here and all that is is just uh, this little component that this current time is and it's got the current time property interpolated which I currently have set to um, just empty string right now so what we want to do in order to use moment uh, hopefully the date will be showing up right there right so uh, all you have to do if you want to use it in your component is import uh, star which is wildcard aka everything uh, as moment from uh, quote moment so this is the npm package right so 
that's all you have to do to start using it. Now, just as a quick example, uh, if you want to go ahead and start doing that, the documentation I've found uh, is pretty good. Uh, I also think it's worth saying that uh, the creators of Moment are starting, uh, they've made a new library called Luxon, which uh, does a lot of the same things, but I believe is um, a lot more lightweight. A lot of people uh, have complained that Moment uh, just takes up a huge amount of space, and uh, I think that's valid, and so I think this is an attempt from the creators to solve for that, and it's got um, a different way of doing things. You have to import the date time, I believe. I uh, haven't dealt with it a ton yet, but just wanted to mention that uh, for those that are interested. So, uh, Moment.js docs getting set is uh, important. So, uh, if you invoke Moment, uh, the uh, function here, that will give you the time as it is right now. So, if you think about, I want the hour, uh, moment dot minute number, or moment dot hour, that'll give you the hour, whatever the hour is right now, right? So, um, in keeping with that and just thinking about that, uh, I'm going to go down here to um, format, and uh, I think this will be a good example because it shows the second, so you guys can see that this is actually working. So what this is doing is saying, hey, moment, give me the time as it is right now with um, the day as the 14th um, full month uh, day of the week, and then full year, hour, uh, both minutes, both seconds, and then a.m. or p.m. So uh, the table for all of that is down here. Um, and then you can find it if you want something specific, week of year. I don't know why you'd ever want that, but um, it's all here in the documentation. So um, this is just going to give me, you know, like this example, um, day of week, month, day, year, time down to the second a.m. or p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that since that's going to give me whatever that is for right now. Uh, I can copy that right into here, current time. Uh, since I already have that property set up, it's already being piped out. Uh, and what are we missing here? Ah, my linter doesn't like the double quote. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. And then save. It'll recompile. And then if we go back Hopefully we'll see here recompiling current time is, and here it is showing up. So that's great. Uh, my local time is indeed 6.53 uh, p.m. And then if you can see I'm, we're at 21 seconds. If I refresh, 33 seconds. So it is in fact working. Um, so that's just a quick example of how to use Moment in the actual project. Uh, you're going to want to deal with that. I'd say mostly in your TypeScript files, though. In theory, you could create your own pipes. Um, on the project I'm working on currently, we have um, pipes that are built uh, on top of Moment. So uh, that's in the Angular documentation as well, but um, I'll leave you guys to that. Hope you found this helpful, and uh, please comment if you would like to see other videos or maybe uh, a follow-up to this video if there's something that's got you hung up or is confusing. And uh, thanks so much for watching.